Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we're going to be replacing a condenser fan board. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So during my last visit I found this system running with high head pressure. There are two condenser fan motors one and two along with two compressors and right off the bat I knew this motor was bad before I even checked voltage or anything is that if you try to spin the blade you can see there's a lot of resistance solid doesn't even spin first things first you're gonna to want to make sure your power is off if you have a disconnect or a breaker that controls that circuit so right now we got the power off and we could begin by opening the control panel and take apart the old motor. So I just took up the cover for the control panel. This is all we got. You can see that these two contactors were actually recently replaced, so we're not gonna change those. We're just gonna replace the fan motor with the capacitor. Look how giant those are. It's actually the same rating, you know, technology guys. So next, we're gonna gain access to our fan motor, to the blade. So we're gonna just finish taking off this fan grill and we're gonna get access to the blade and while I have the motor still in place we're gonna loosen these two locking nuts locking screws and take off this protective sealant and I'm gonna pull the blade out while it's already in place so it's not like dangling around so this is the only hard part you heard that Need some kind of blade puller. I have two different types on the job site. Let's see which uh, works best for this type of setup. But for now, what I'm gonna do is just loosen these screws. Remove the protective sealant. And just try to pull it off. You know, kind of like smack it out. So, let's see what happens. Moment of truth. Oh my God. Lucky. <laughs> All right. Now that the blade is free, the only thing really holding us together are the, is the wires. So this is it right here. I'm just gonna cut these tie wraps out the way. You know, needing everything out. Disconnect my electrical. If you need to write it down, write it down. If you don't, that's fine. But make sure where those wires go. So, let's see. This is our wires right here. This is our three wires. So we got one coming off the terminal block, which is gonna be our line. And then we got two wires here for our capacitor. And that's all we really got here. So, let's disconnect everything and pull this motor out. Sometimes for the capacitors, you need to discharge them. So you just short it out. Don't want any problems. You don't want to get shocked, electrocuted at that source. So if you got to short it out, just use your, like a flathead screwdriver across both spade terminals on the cap. So, now we know we're discharged and everything's cool. To tell you the truth, I could just chop this up right here. And once that's out of the way, looks like there's this one locking nut. Loosen this up and the whole motor should pull free. And to put it back, we're just gonna reverse the process. Uh, the wiring might be a little different on this one as it's a different motor and a replacement, but that's how we're gonna handle it. Wires are now loose. Loosen this up. Just hold it before this whole thing freaking drops on me. So we're just loosening up the phone, the, the motor bracket. Still in place. I should be able to pull this out from the top. There we 
we go. <laughs> and it's as simple as that. We're gonna reverse the process now and get this going. So I just wanna quickly go over the wiring. The old motor had three wires and you can see we have a whole bunch more here. As far as these two right here, whenever you have uh, wires that are come in this kind of fashion that don't leap far out, and this is for your rotation. So right now, this is built in whichever way, maybe let's say counterclockwise to go, and that it's gonna start. If you see this is orange to orange and yellow to yellow, you swap a yellow to orange and the other way around, basically reverse these, you can change the rotation. Here, we have two wires with the satellite connectors and that goes in and out of your cap. In and out, you're done with the capacitor. And next you just gotta feed the motor 208 volts. So we're gonna come off the contactor and put one on one leg and one on the other and there's our 208. So that's that setup. But this old motor is completely different. So the old motor actually cut the wires, follow this one, one is comes straight off line off this terminal block. Then you have your other 120 for your 208 coming off this capacitor and then it's in and out. So honestly, the setup that we're gonna wire it for is much easier, easier and I'll show you how that's done. Let's begin by mounting the motor in place and running our wires into the control panel. Alright, so we're going to take the fan motor. Get it in place. Hold that down. Right now, I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit. Just so it stays in place. And I'll make my adjustments later. But that's more or less where it should be. That's in place, it's the ground wire, it's connected to the casing, just ground that. Reversing wires, now let's loosen this up. And we're gonna run this along here. And run up these wires into the control panel. right here let's push it to the side just want to avoid the piping get a neatly tie wrap this and then we're gonna make our connections all right so here was that capacitor it's already discharged here it was a jumper we don't need that anymore we're gonna get our tool weight a different way now. So let's just put back that capacitor. This is our new capacitor. Here's our wires. It's literally just in and out. Capacitor is like almost its own circuit here. So right there, that's the connection for the capacitor. Let's lock it down. Right there, it's our car cap. Get rid of this. And here is our, one, our 208. So it's 120 on each leg. And basically it's gonna come right off the contactor. Just this one. And we're just gonna put one leg on each line. So one here and one here. You can just unscrew this and stuck it, stick it in as this is the lug type. There's our 208, there's our cap, and this thing is ready. Give it a quick bump start and see if this thing works before we continue. Make sure the rotation is correct and that there's no other issues. All right, so the capacitor is done. 
and our tool weight comes right off the contactor. Needing this up a little bit, I left these open in case I need to reverse the rotation. And this right here is just gonna go to ground. For a quick test, I'm just gonna bump the motor and I wanna hear how it sounds. Fan motor spinning. No crazy sound. All right, our motor works. Let's put the blade on. We actually just replaced a second fan motor and that motor with this blade on made a crazy noise. So what we did is we took off the fan blade. We ran the motor with no blade, it had no noise and we put a different blade on it and it had no problem. So right now there actually might be an issue with putting this one on, but we're gonna start it up and see if it's also making that sound. If it is, we actually know now that it's the blade itself. It might not be properly balanced or what. Over the years it got corroded, warped, many things, but we're gonna check it out. So we're gonna put this in place, match it up, lock it down. These screws lock down on the flat part of the shaft. And that's about it, guys. All right, everything's locked down. That looks free. I'm gonna close these covers and start this up and see if this thing makes that same noise. But I'm expecting it. All right, guys, the moment of truth. All right, so our motor's spinning. But if you hear that sound, that's the same sound that the other unit was making, just not as bad. I really don't like it. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Speaking of fans, but uh, at least we got a fan motor, guys. At least we have a motor. And at least we're gonna get cooling. I'm gonna make a recommendation to replace that blade. And since there's two motors per unit, probably replace these two and those two. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.